guys, welcome to the garlic patch. I'm getting ready to uh, plant my garlic. I didn't get as much as last year. Um, I only got four cloves, about a half pound, I think it was, from Baker Creek. Um, I was inside, I broke it all up. I broke all the pieces off so that I could plant them. I didn't get as many, uh, it was pretty expensive. It was like 20 something dollars for four cloves of it. So, um, but I want to get this in the ground because I really should have got it in like a week ago and um, I've just been so busy and haven't had time and then the weather has not cooperated on the days when I do have time it's either raining or I've got something else to do so I'm going to plant these real quick I already have my rows I don't know if I'll need all of them um, but I'll spread them out make sure they have plenty of room I've started my fencing for uh, to keep my lovely chickens out because they love this bed it's been um, it's been uh, filled up with some fresh compost. Uh, there's potting soil in there, there's dirt, there's, uh, you know, it's all mixed in together. So it's been refreshed and uh, it's all ready to plant in. But the chickens love coming in here and uh, dust bathing in this bed. So I'm going to wrap it with some wire. I have my posts up and I have this door closed, but the other one's open. So they may come in every so often, but I'll have this all blocked off so they can't get in here and mess it up because for some reason they love this bed probably the most out of all of them. <laughs> Crazy things. So this is music garlic. I broke it all up and they're pretty big cloves. They're really big uh, pieces. So I'm pretty impressed. It should give me some big garlic. So even though I have less than I had last year as far as the cloves go, um, it should give me bigger garlic than I had last year. Um, I tried getting, I like to order from Mary's Heirloom Seeds, but she didn't have any at the time. Uh, and I wasn't sure if I would get it in time to plant. And everybody's running out of everything. So um, uh, Baker Creek had it and I decided I was gonna go ahead and, and grab it. So I'm gonna get these in before these stinking chickens get in here and just mess everything up. Across the room When our eyes met I never knew That I could feel this way And it's kind of strange Don't even know your name Get out! Get out you! Get out you! What are you doing? You're not helping! No, you're not helping! Either. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh huh. I see how you guys are. You say that you're from out of town. I'm hoping that you stick around. Show me what it's like from the other side. I didn't really go into depth on how to do this because I did this last year and I did a video on it. So if you guys are interested, it's right up uh, above my head. I'll link the uh, video up there. And then um, if you want to see the results of my garlic, what came out of the ground in the spring, if you want to check that out, that should be at the end of that video of me showing you how to plant the garlic. Now, full disclosure, that was my first year um, planting garlic, so you'll be able to uh, see how easy it is, really, for a first year uh, 
garlic planting. It's really quite easy. It's almost like the easiest thing because you just put it in the ground, insulate it. Here I have to insulate it pretty deeply because I'm in Maine and it gets pretty crazy here. Um, so, you know, cold. So we want to insulate that garlic. They want to get in there and play in that hay. You do, don't you? Yeti's making noises. Crazy chickens. Booty. Yeti booty. Look at that Yeti booty. So cute. It's so fluffy, Yed. Look at that. Look at that Yeti booty. <laughs> Yettles. <laughs> He's crazy. Or maybe I am. One of us is. So it's getting really cold here uh, during the day. It's only about 50, 55. Um, a few days next week or this week, it's supposed to be uh, in the 60s during the day. But the nights are down in the 30s. So I want to be able to go ahead and grab the rest of my basil that I have there and uh, take off what I can use. And then I believe I have some parsley and I might replant the parsley like a small piece of it and take it in um, to just sit in the house and be able to have fresh parsley over the winter time. I could do that with the basil too. I'm pretty sure I have a pot that I can put it in for now. Um, and I can do that. So that's another thing I want to do today. It's just so many little things, but they all add up and it takes time because I got to run around and find this and that and the other in order to do it. So, but I just wanted to give you guys one last look at my marigolds and my nasturtiums because they will be gone soon, I'm sure. They are still beautiful, and I am just amazed at how tall my marigolds are. I mean, it's crazy. So I'm gonna take some of these dead ones and uh, take them in and keep them for seeds for next year, I'll dry them out. So I've got a couple of these, the heads of them, and I'll take them in and uh, get those ready for next year, get them dried out for next year to plant. Uh, it looks like I have quite a few of them. So I may uh, package some up and send some out, give them away to people if they want some marigolds for their garden because I'll tell you the butterflies love them and actually so did the bees. Bumblebees, the honeybees, uh, all kinds of different bugs that were beneficial to the garden. So I was pretty happy with that and it's nice to see that. So yeah, I'm gonna take some of these dead ones and do that. So I'm gonna to need to go in and get some kind of an envelope or something, just our cup to store them in. And then um, when I get them inside, I'll lay them out flat away from the wind and stuff. So that's another thing I'm doing today. <laughs> so I'm in here getting seeds from my nasturtium. Not these black ones, but these are seeds. Um, and so I want to collect a bunch of those for next year too. These grew so very well and I still have some seeds left, but I want to make sure I have some for next year, the year after and on and on and to share with other people. Cause again, the bees, butterflies, pollinators love, hummingbirds love these. So I want to make sure that I have enough cause I really think it helped in my garden this year to have some pollinators or more pollinators in here um, to pollinate my vegetables. I really do, to pollinate my plants. So, that is what I'm doing. The uh, chickens, I think, like to eat them because they're usually all over the ground here and not as many. There's still a bunch. They like to eat everything. Just put it that way. You guys like to eat everything, don't you? Yeah, I'll get a bunch of these together and I'll be able to share these as well. Um, 
to help people out in their gardens. So you take that outside cover off, you get this little seed on this dry one here. You can see. There you go. See that? That's the seed right there. So, and the chickens do like to eat the nasturtium, and the nasturtium are edible. I have not tried them, but I have several people say that it tastes really good. And I actually had somebody tell me that um, Alaskan nasturtium is really good, uh, and it's really pretty. It's got variegated leaves on it, um, not just the green leaves, but they have like some white mixed in and stuff, so it's pretty cool. But these things are still blooming like crazy. I mean, look at this. They're just going like crazy. And I haven't seen any bees out here in the past few days. I've been out a few times to check it out. I have not seen any. So I love the color of these. I like this red. And of course, the hummingbirds are attracted to the red color. So I think it's pretty cool. I pulled these pepper plants out because I wanted to show you. Um, that one doesn't show it as well. But this one does. I wanted to show you, I planted in these uh, bags from Mary's Heirloom Seeds last year, and or last spring, and started seeds in them. And I just wanted to show you how the roots come out of the bag. And it actually did very well. I got quite a few peppers on it. Pretty good, uh, healthy plant. These were bullnose, I think, peppers, I believe. I uh, had a couple different kinds, but that worked out pretty well. It had quite a good root system on it, and you could see the, the bigger, healthier roots just broke right through and uh, did their thing in the ground. And I will link a um, I'll link to that video that I did on that last spring um, with this. And I also use coconut core, uh, soil to plant in. So this was started in coconut core, coconut core. It was dehydrated and then you add water. But I'll link the, the video up above so you guys can see that if you're interested in watching. I'll put them down in the description too. So if you want to watch the rest of the video, I'd much appreciate it. And then you can go down and click on it afterwards. It should be on uh, at the end of the video as well. But it's pretty cool guys. Thanks for stopping by the off-grid homestead today. Being in the garden with me and the chickens. Hope you like, share, and subscribe, and have a great day.